Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to my Feed the Beast Unleashed Let's Play. Um, today, we're gonna let's go to our list here. So I'm looking at setting up moving power, and in order to get the ME storage going, and in order to get the ME storage going, I need an assembly table. So um, I'm thinking we'll just get done with the moving power today, and or this episode, and um, then we'll start working on the assembly table so that we can get the ME storage going. So looking forward to that. The ink farm might go into that as I'm setting up some other farms and I'll show you what's going on. So let's hop down. So I want the ME storage right here and um, I have some EU up here but I have some ideas on how to make some seriously crazy EU that I think is just plain broken. Um, but we'll give it a shot. Um, so this is going to be the power plant um, I've showed you earlier my uh, MJ setup, MJ production setup. That's going to go back there. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is bio generators. So um, I'll have one for MJs and a bio generator for um, EU as well. We'll be converting the biofuel to ethanol and. Um, the mine factory reloaded has just a broken mechanism for that <laughs> it's like a one for one it's crazy so here I'm setting up a, um, a harvester um, I'm gonna harvest the melons uh, convert them into seeds and that's gonna feed the bio uh, reactors and here's ones for pumpkins I'm trying different designs um, I'm trying to maximize the number of pumpkins that can be out at one time and also keep up with the number of um, the number of plants that are active is if you look here this is 41 it's a 49 49 squares it's 48 squares because you got water in the middle and um, anytime a melon or whatnot spawns if you look here, now these other four are disabled. Now that still leaves these guys open, but essentially you can only, <clears throat> I think you can maybe have max of 30 if it's, if it's done right. So this one here spawns, that kills both of those, but the, both of those have an opportunity to spawn. Those two squares are open to spawn as well as that one, because that one's disabled and, and whatnot, I don't know. But, so I'm trying, trying different things. Let's see. Um, oh yeah, and then cactus. And what I'm going to do with cactus is I'm going to cook the cactus and convert it to, um, convert that to dye. Because the bioreactors accept all dyes. So, um, so we'll convert that to dye. And then um, that'll be one of our inputs as well. Can't put a. So that one's. It's a nine. Nine by nine is eighty-one. Eighty. So forty. Forty-one. Yeah. So it's forty-one spots. Because so there's like one extra spot of. Cacti. There. And then so yeah, we're trying this. Um, I'm gonna put another row of um, yeah. So let's put another row of guys here. Okay, so we need pumpkins. Pumpkin seeds are there. So I'm go. So if that spawns there. Um, I'm going to put four here. So there's two pumpkins for every spot. 
or two uh, stems for every spot. I think that'll work pretty good. So this would be seven times four is 28, plus a one, two, three, four, 16, 28, 28, 16 is 34. 28, no, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So up to 48. So I think that's pretty good. Blump all these up. So hope everyone had a awesome Thanksgiving. I had some great food by both my aunt, aunts, a couple of aunts, <laughs> and um, uh, my brother. So my brother uh, did Thanksgiving. Let's see, I'm wondering. So either one of those would kill. Uh, well, I think it's all right. I think it'll be fine because they're not going to be um, they're not going to be up a lot because of how quick the um, harvester is I just didn't want the thing I didn't want is when a pumpkin spawns I didn't want it to disable so many it like disables four. It's like crazy. Um, let's see here. Okay, yeah. So yeah, let's kill this. Let's kill that guy. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Okay, so we're gonna till this land. We've got leftovers from. Both places ate once I left over yesterday. I'm gonna eat another one today. Nothing like leftover Thanksgiving food. One of our traditions is to have um, No, I'm not O C D at all. I had no idea that when a pumpkin eventually plants that the soil will be untilled. <laughs> I'm horrible, dang it. Look at this. This is stupid. But I gotta do it. I can't not. I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know why. Oh. Is it a medical, well it is a medical condition. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so now I can see that, oh cool, so I can just add these guys. Um, let's get these other seeds so I need. Merlin seeds. Let's convert all these over. Hopefully, yeah, that should be plenty. Okay, so then now we're going to till that guy there, that guy there. Okay, so we're tilling. This land, this land. This land is my land, this land is your land. Um, without butchering the song, I'm not going to continue. <laughs> I would not be able to continue without butchering the song. So, um, I'm not going to continue. Mama always said, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Very true statement. You know the difference between criticism and constructive criticism? One's constructive. <laughs> um, <laughs> the difference between complaining and constructive criticism is constructive criticism is complaining with a solution. Whilst 
whilst also providing a solution. So you want to complain about something and say, you know what, I don't like what you're doing there, I don't think it's appropriate. Why don't you try this? You ever try that with a child? Works great. You give them an option and um, they do stuff. Let's see, I'll just grab another one. They do stuff. They do all kinds of stuff. Kids are kids. Don't fence me in. Oh man, I'm watching uh, YouTube and that commercial. It's, um, I believe it's the Nevada commercial. It's like the come to Nevada commercial. Don't fence me in. See, that's how OCD is. I totally recognize that that one was out of color. And needed another uh, bone meal. I want it. Yeah, I'm thinking that'll be better. Those four there, because I want I want these guys to to branch out, not in. Well, I mean they can go in, but they're more efficient going out because these. These things don't stay up very often. And I don't know why. So my other one over there, some of the seeds popped up. I'm wondering if um, Shazam. I'm wondering if um, some mobs or something got over there. I need another chandelier. Oh, we got two chandeliers. Uh, uh. I think that'll be fine. Anything spawns in there. Oh, within 16 blocks. 16 blocks is going to be like way out here. Um, so I can totally... somewhere it's probably in the middle what do you know okay so there's that guy don't fence dang it I got that song stuck in my head um, let's see will he go here no okay um, I could put some jack-o-lanterns in here one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'd have to put them like right there and there. Not a bad deal. One there. One there. With, I think it's, um, let's see, it's F7. All of this is spawnable. Not really, but. Yeah, this, I wonder if they should add it so this affects. So yeah, look at all these guys. They spawn pretty fast. So um, I'm going to go make some more parts because I need more harvesters. And I need some routing and and whatnot. So I will be right. All right, I'm back. I wasn't right back, but um, yeah, I'm back. Oh, my thing now. So, um, let's show you what I got going. So I moved all the power over. Uh, this is basically my, basically, this is my storage system. So there's my um, energy cells set up for that. Here's my export. If I want to um, collect energy cells from another location or collect energy from another location this is my um, converting uh, the biofuel into MJ so we got a line of conduits going on there and then so I've got the redstone energy going down and powering these harvesters so we got the harvesters up um, I'm gonna put reactors his reactors output really slow. 
but they're consistent or constant. Uh, I mean, they don't eat through all the material quickly, but they do um, go really slow. And if I'm gonna, if I need a bunch of energy, it's gonna be a challenge getting the the fuel up. And I was looking at converting to ethanol, but I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. Bouncing around. Um, so here's um, my layer of melons, my layer of pumpkins, and here's the, the biofuel container. I've got 21 buckets in there right now. I'm going to run um, applied energistics down here to manage the, the inventory so I can uh, run one of those redstone level, was it a level detector? This guy here, the ME level detector. And what that does is when the quantity within the ME network reaches a certain threshold of a specific item, you can have it turn a red so signal on or off. And what I can do is for this one, if I have a certain number of pumpkins, I can turn it off. And then same one for melons, and then this one for cactus. I can turn it off. And um, I added one more thing, as you probably see while I've gone around, is I've added a rancher. This guy is crazy. So if I go over here, pop these two guys in. Grab some more. So this rancher is amazing. And this squid I got from a jailer. Yeah. Jailer Safari Net. <coughs> One of the good uses for the the single use Safari Nets. But supposedly, if you capture with the jailer safari net, they're not supposed to despawn. So we'll see how that works. But as you can see, I, I'm almost got a full chest here. And um, he hasn't despawned yet. Although I've been around, I haven't left yet. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. I do have this in a chunk load, so we'll see how that goes too. I'm having a problem with um, my elevator system here. I keep falling all the way down. Um, but hopefully, so um, I've got applied energistics I can route over here also so I can manage the um, manage the the ranching and what I might do is right underneath it is put the uh, level emitter so you can see the little red dot I think that'll be kind of cool and this glass this is I got a complete 4x4 four four with a 2x2 two two hole in the middle uh, for water a glass container and it just looks amazing can't see anything down there. All you see is the border right here. It looks, I love it. It's just, that's some really clean stuff right there. I like that. <coughs> so let's put some more. Yeah, see, these guys are done already. Don't fix me in. I was watching my own video. <laughs> I got myself stuck on the song. That I had myself stuck on before. Eh, commercials will do that to you. What I'm hoping to do. So right now, I've got enough for it. So once this fills up. <clears throat> these two guys here will um, shut off and not take any more so this will hold um, 6400 buckets um, so if ever I need 
energy. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, that glass and I'm going to fall down that hole. Did I kill anything when I fell down? Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. I'll have to get some more seeds and fill it up. Did I pick up the seed? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to hoe that. Okay, I'll fix that later. But, um, yeah. I'm going to... Um, I need a hole for my applied energy. No, maybe not. Um, I'll have to run that from another location. But yeah, that should be a lot of fun getting that going. So, yeah. I wanted that there. I didn't want too many tubes coming up and down. These guys, I think, look pretty cool running around. But this guy here... This way, um, if I run, want to run a force engine, so or any type of that, um, uh, let's see, biofuel. So biofuel, force engine, biofuel generator, biogas engine. So if I put it in a force engine and I add water I get 4 MJ per tick for 60,000 ticks if I put it in a biogas engine so I could just take a biofuel generator but regular force engine will apply 120 total MJ whereas uh, biofuel generators 160 without throttling comparing to the force engine but the force engine if you throttle it you can get 240 out of a bucket of biofuel if you throttle with just water if you throttle it with milk it's a half a million MJ 480,000 MJ total so it's and then I'm seeing how fast these ranches work it's like every second crazy <coughs> so yeah we'll definitely have to get an enemy in here and throttle all that stuff and see how that's going um, but I think that's gonna do it for today Let's see. Um, yeah, pretty much that. That's all I've worked on today um, for this episode. Next thing I'm going to want to work on, I'm definitely going to finish up the the power, moving the power. Um, I need to get... The next things I need to get are an assembly table. So that I can start working on ME because ME um, I think you know what I said it at 20 but I played it back and man it was loud on the video these guys oh, I got some guys over here too Oh, time for a new sword. Sharpness four, looting four. <laughs> Still got a little stuff in my, th my chest, but should be good to go. Oh, and this is my... I don't know, I probably showed you this, but... Um, this works out really well. The reason for the glass... Uh, I was having skeletons spawn in here during the daytime. <laughs> this is the this is the Tigger mod. <laughs> bouncing, 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 boink, boink, boink. Um. But yeah, okay. So, trying to figure out where I want to put the assembly table. 
um, thinking about over here um, I, I was well I could put it this way did I dig up no I try to I could put it right above there I don't think I need any lava so I was thinking of either I want to keep this wall maybe I think I'll put it that way um, and that'll allow me to go down and up to apply because I want to get a bunch of lasers <laughs> and put them on sharks <laughs> freaking laser beams um, <laughs> but yeah so those are the things I got working on now but um, thanks for stopping by Ooh, I got the ink farm going so I can take that down um, let's see still working on end stone I don't consider the power movement done. I want to finish putting some more cells in there. Um, <coughs> once I get the farms done, I'll, con I'll consider moving the power done. But right now, the farms aren't completed. It's still manual um, and whatnot. So, this is Joe Cool signing out. Thanks for stopping by. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Um, if you enjoy my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. Leave some comments. Tell me where um, to go next because um, I'll definitely take some input. Um. <laughs>